All right, so today we're going to have the epic shootout between the two best gaming CPUs you can get for gaming laptops. And here on the left we have the AMD 7945HX with 175 watt RTX 4090. And on the right we have Intel's i9 3980HX and a 175 watt RTX 4090. Which one's going to be faster for gaming? Well, we're going to find out. This is going to be epic, right? Two of the best gaming CPUs going head to head ROG systems. So, Asus ROG systems, both Strix. This is a 17 inch Strix. This is an 18 inch Strix. Wow. And I know, yes, it's not exactly the same size chassis, but it is what we have, right? They're using both 330 watt power supplies. So, I don't think the chassis differences are going to make you know that much difference if you know what i mean so anyway these things here are the no apology gaming laptops okay so what i mean by that is they're a little bit thicker and heavier they're called muscle books they get the ultimate parts they get the most wattage into the cpu and gpu compared to something like this this is the Zephyrus M16, and yeah, this is if you want thin and premium, right? It's not going to have the wattage output of these two suckers. And you can see there, 16-inch display versus 17-inch display, and that's a 16x9, that's a 16x10, and the actual 18-inch display is a 16x10 as well. Everything is going to be exactly the same. So if we go in here, in the settings here, everything's exactly the same we're talking the same windows build the same graphics driver the same build of the actual game itself everything exactly the same the same conditions both running in ultimate mode which is discrete graphics mode both running in turbo mode everything exactly the same we're going to have the same resolution on the gaming benchmark and then i'm going to unplug them and see what happens you'll be able to see the cpu how hot they get the cpu how much juice they use like how much wattage they use how they dynamically balance is there a difference between intel and amd how they balance between the cpu and gpu we're going to find out right so let's just do it all right so again reminder amd system intel system and what we can see here is both of them are running at 171 172 watts same sort of gpu temperature within two degrees uh, cpu this is actually hotter the amd okay that's interesting uh, the intel is cooler and using roughly the same amount of wattage now of course this is a 17 inch this is an 18 inch so this should be able to cool a bit better but we're going to see what happens when we game here both the same settings here so if i go here and here you can see exactly the same settings so let's just uh run this and uh see how we go okay okay sorry better get the mic okay both run at 1080p sort of highest settings there so it's going to be very interesting. Oh, here comes the hair dryers. By the way, two of them put together. How many decibels? Uh, let's have a look. Still under 60 with both of them. Okay, so both of them using 160 watts. 70 degrees on the GPU, both of them. 96 on the uh, AMD system, the temperature. CPU is much cooler much cooler with the intel i didn't expect that now the intel is actually using more wattage too and it is cooler and they're both on the turbo mode both exactly the same discrete uh looks like the intel is faster here slightly ah oh, it's going to be very line ball between the two in terms of fps but certainly i think maybe this chassis is constrained with the thermals a bit but you can see frequency rise this is running a higher frequency but less wattage this is running more wattage the intel system here but running less frequency and the gpu seems to be the same although that went up to 180 watts that gpu now frames per second looks like intel is oh the amd is slightly faster here amd is crushing it it seems to be 10 to 20 frames per second faster AMD for sure. It's going to 290, 270. The AMD is faster. We're using the same wattage. Actually using a bit more wattage on that. Marginal there. Very interesting. I did not think the AMD would win. 
1080p gaming at the highest settings there. It's running through this quicker, so yeah, 310 frames versus 300 frames on the Intel system. Intel system is using slightly more watts, and this one's using less watts, but is a higher temperature. And the wattage on the GPU, it's using less watts on the GPU. Now this is faster here, the AMD, the Intel system, say, should I say, sorry there, that is faster. It's going faster now, the Intel system, and this is going slower. Now is that due to throttling, 96 degrees on the CPU? Not sure, I don't know what to tell you there. It's gonna be very interesting very neck to neck here and as I sort of you know thought I don't think there's going to be much to choose between the AMD and the Intel I'm interested that this is hotter using less wattage it just may be the cooling system differences it would be nice if it was exactly the same chassis but the reality is it's I don't even think they have an Intel version of the 18 inch so I have to check up on that but um slightly faster here now the AMD's faster slightly it's going to be interesting who's going to win here let's see exactly the same settings everything exactly the same same temperature what do we got 225 versus 218 Woof! amd1 and there may have been a little bit of thermal throttle in there but the amd1 at 1080p there you go now let's pull the battery, I mean the power out, and see, we'll run this test again and see what happens, eh? Okay, so let's run this on battery, both of them, exactly the same settings here, running on battery, they're both in performance mode, uh, battery boost is turned off, and let's see how they go on battery. Again, AMD, Intel. Okay, both, both on battery now. Let's see what happens. Now it shouldn't be capped to 30 frames, should go full power here. Okay, I'll just adjust those screens a little bit. Okay, it's going to be very interesting. The AMD is using 20 watts on the CPU, the Intel is using 15 watts. So you can see there the AMD is faster on battery so far but using more power. GPU power is pretty much the same, 40 watts on the GPU. It is using, definitely, it is using the NVIDIA graphics because I've only got the telemetry for the NVIDIA graphics up. And yep, you can see there, 68 degrees on the AMD, around 60 degrees on the Intel. But clearly it looks like the AMD is probably going to be faster on battery. Be interesting to see. But one thing is, it's using more power on that CPU. I did not expect that. The Intel is using less power. It's about 10 frames per second slower. But it's using about 10 watts less on the CPU. And I can hear the fan on the AMD system now whereas I cannot hear the fan on the Intel system. So, some interesting stuff here. I would have thought the Intel would have been using more power and would have been hotter running the fan, you know, higher, but it seems to be the other way around, but the AMD is faster, so I would expect the faster one to use more power. I would sort of expect that. And as you can see there, you're still using that, around that eight to 10 watts more on the AMD system, but it is certainly faster with AMD. I will look at the percentage of the battery gone, different size batteries anyway, but I'll just have a look for a laugh at the end. But on battery, it looks like the AMD is gonna be the fastest on battery. Uncapped, this is not with battery boost on. Both using about 40 watts on the GPU there, 21 watts, 22 watts on the CPU with the AMD and with the Intel system using about, you know, looks like 12 to 18 watts. Very close to wattage now actually. The AMD both 60 and 80% there, I mean 60 and 80 degrees. 
So 60 degrees on the CPU on the Intel and 59 on the AMD. And it looks like, yeah, the temperature on the GPU, 53 degrees on the Intel one and the 46 degrees with the AMD system there. So slightly different cooling, even though they've got the same GPU. Uh, AMD's gonna be faster. Okay, so there you go. 85 frames, it's like, yeah, over 10 frames faster. And yeah, there you go. So the AMD is faster at 1080p, the highest settings with this Tomb Raider in both battery and off battery. On battery and off battery on normal power. It is faster on both these. So, wow, both these tests, wow. Anyway, AMD for the win there, tell you.